Yeah, that's right, guys. After enjoying months of little to no infection, Masonic Care here in Wallingford suddenly realized they had a pretty big problem. A staff member who wasn't feeling well tested positive for COVID, causing family members who have loved ones inside to get a little nervous. I, I was just scared to death that I was going to lose her. Skip Zeibel was looking forward to visiting his sister Pearl on the third floor of Masonic Care's Ramage building until he got word about the outbreak. Anyway, thank God we moved her out. Yeah. And um, whether antibody, antibody, antibody she should have, she should be okay. Pearl, in her 80s, already had COVID back in December and got vaccinated. She tested negative this time and was moved off the contaminated floor. I was told that we had an employee who had not felt well and ended up testing positive, which resulted in us immediately testing our unit. In all, 14 residents and five staff on Ramage 3 in Masonic Care tested positive, all of them vaccinated. A big contrast to last year is nobody appeared to be very sick. But with milder symptoms, that also means the virus is harder to detect. Masonic Care is testing the entire facility weekly and testing that unit daily. Masonic Care was one of the first health care facilities in Connecticut to mandate staff vaccination as a condition of employment. If this isn't something you can do, then maybe you need to rethink health care. I mean, it's 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 that important. Statewide, more than 69% of the staff in Connecticut's nursing homes are fully vaccinated. But there's concerns about making it mandatory across the board that it may lead to further staffing shortages. We have reports from num some nursing homes that they're not even able to take hospital admissions because of um, an inability to secure staffing in order to meet, to meet the needs of their residents. From July 7th through the 20th, Connecticut's 213 nursing homes recorded six new resident COVID cases and 19 cases for staff, but zero deaths. Families just hoping that after more than a year of isolation and loneliness, further visitor restrictions won't be imposed. I can tell you the loneliness of my sister was overjoyed when she did see my wife and I. And nursing homes tell me they've learned a lot over the past year and a half. And any outbreak that they see now likely won't be as bad as it was before. They're able to get those test results back a lot quicker. They now have ample supply of PPE. They know how to cohort. And the nursing home industry told me that they are going to be looking towards booster shots and will mobilize those quickly to the elderly residents once they get the green light from the science community. We're live here in Wallingford. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.